We have this double door cabinet above the refrigerator with some lift arm mechanisms on it that don't function very well as you can see in this video. I've tried to adjust it and it either slams or sticks or something so I'm going to replace it with this product right here. This is a product from Sugatsuni which is called an Aerolon lift assist mechanism. It's also available in a unit that can be used uh, for toy boxes, a similar product, uh, just a, a little different function. For my use though, it's going to be this product. So the door comes off and I've got to clean up this bit of a mess that's uh, in here. And uh, I think I've got it looking pretty good. I had to add a couple of strips of wood underneath to accommodate the mounting plates. But I think this will work fine for attaching the lift mechanism. As long as we're looking at this upper cabinet, let's attach the mounting plates first. The mounting plate on the left is the uh, mounting plate for the lift mechanism and, of course, one of the hinges. And the mounting plate on the right is for the, the hinge only on the right side. On the right side, there is only a hinge and a mounting plate. These are scale drawings for the uh, mounting plates for the hinge and lift mechanism on one side and the uh, <clears throat> hinge on the other side. Now you can, uh, I keep saying that lift mechanism on the left side, it really doesn't matter what side you put it on. It just turns out to be the way that I have it. So there's the, uh, the plates and what I wanted to point out is that uh, one thing that's in common on the mounting plate is the, is the uh, second set of holes is at 37 millimeters back from the front edge of the cabinet. So that's where you would, might like to uh, line up those mounting plates. It's uh, really the, the uh, center line for the hinge mounting plate itself. I did use those specifications for installing the mounting plates that you see in the picture uh, right here, or in the cabinet here above the fridge. Next we are going to drill the 35 millimeter holes in our door uh, to receive the hinge cup. So here we go on that. Here I am drilling the holes for the hinge cups. That was easy. And now I've got the door ready. Uh, I've got some prepping done on the door. For instance, I've drilled the 35 millimeter holes for the hinge cups. They're 11 millimeters deep. And the setback from the edge of the door to the edge of the hole is five millimeters on these. Now, I came in 124 millimeters from the edge, as you see here. I had to do that because this is a, an old cabinet, made, made probably in the mid-70s, and they're using this technology called a double demountable hinge, and that kind of went away. That, that isn't used anymore, and, and this is a nice door uh, that they've mended together like this, so it's, it, now it's one door. And so I'll put the hinges in here. This is for the guide hook for the lift mechanism. All of that stuff, the lift mechanism which you see here, um, and the hinges are all in a, come in a really nice box along with the instructions that you see here. So here's the uh, mounting plate for the hinge, and this is the mounting plate for the lift mechanism. Here's the guide hook. Now that's also measured over 124 millimeters to the center of that and 118 millimeters from the edge of the door to, to the center here. So those are kind of the specs for getting this door prepped. So I'll screw the hinges on, I'll screw this a guide hook on and then uh, we'll get lined up to put the plates up in the, uh, in the cabinet above the fridge. As you can see, I'm pretty fast at screwing these hinges down and getting that uh, guide hook into place. I even surprised myself. Our first step is to attach the door, which should be fairly easy. These do have really good clip hinges on them. We'll just snap it in and the hinge, the door is installed. Now we have to add the lift mechanism to the left side of the door. 
step is to install the lift mechanism. So you'll have to slide it on that pivot post first. And then go to your mounting plate and slide it on the mounting plate. And attach the screws. The manufacturer says to put on the screws on the back of the mounting plate and leave them exposed a ways and then slide on your lift mechanism. Well, I disagree with that. I say slide on your lift mechanism and then uh, put the screws in. Let me explain why I recommend that you do not put screws into these holes in the back of the mounting plate for the lift mechanism. Uh, the uh, manufacturer recommends that you put the screws in and leave them standing out a ways so that you can slide on the lift mechanism. Well, here's, here's uh, what you will actually have. There's going to be a hinge attached to the mounting plate like that. So now you, now you have a hinge and two screws are sticking up back here. These, these screws are already fixed right here and it's attached to your cabinet. But here they want you, these two screws to stand up. Now when you come in with your uh, device, your lift mechanism, and you slide it into position, you see how the, the hinge wraps right around the screw and you can slide it in and now tighten the screws. Fits nice. That's really good. But let's just say that you have been forced to adjust your hinge to the side. And now you come with this plate and guess what? You can't, you cannot possibly get this lift mechanism onto the plate. The screws are in the way. So you have to take the screws off. So here we're going to see the door cycle a little bit. And now we're going to use a screwdriver to adjust the tension on the arm so that we get a nice smooth lifting action. Now I'll cycle it a few times. Another thing that I didn't point out in the video is there's a little a butterfly thing here that you can turn and this uh, is for adjusting the speed of the closing action so putting it in that position has a very slow closing action and putting it in this position it has a very fast closing action. Well, I hope you got some use out of this uh, little video here. And if you did, do the like thing, um, share it with your friends, and subscribe.